Today I'm going to show you what screen printing equipment you need to start screen printing right away. From a small spatula to a whole screen printing press. Let's go. So the first thing that you're going to need is going to be a desktop or a laptop. It's where the whole screen printing process starts from. It's where you get your designs and your artwork. You will need a software and the software that I use is called CorelDRAW. It's where I vectorize my images, do color separations and do mockups so I can have a better idea how the design will look on the shirt. Now the second thing that you're going to need is going to be an inkjet printer to print your transparency films. And of course, you do not need it to start with, but it does make everything way, way easier. And if you can't afford one, don't even worry about it. Just get a hard drive, download your designs to the hard drive, and walk to like a Walgreens or an Office Depot or anywhere that they print paper. I'm pretty sure they could get your designs printed. Now, the third thing that you're gonna need is gonna be a screen. And screen is what holds your design. A standard screen is around 20 times 24 inches and there's wooden ones and there's aluminum ones. I personally would recommend to stay away from the wooden ones because with time they tend to warp and they tend to lose tension because of humidity and heat. Now each screen has a different mesh and if you're starting, you're a beginner, I would recommend to start with the 110 and the 156. Because the higher ones are for more detail and complex design. Now the fourth thing that you're going to need is going to be a scoop quarter. And I recommend to get a 16 inch scoop quarter. What the scoop quarter does, it helps you uh, coat your screens with emotion. The fifth thing that you're going to need is called an exposure unit. What the exposure unit does, it burns your designs into the screens. It hardens all the emotion that is not covered by the design. And if you guys could help us by giving us a like and watching the video all the way to the end because at the end of the video I'm going to give you guys a Facebook group page and a website where you can get all your equipment. Now let's continue with the video. Now the sixth thing that you need is a washout booth and a power washer. And the reason why I put both of them together is because well honestly you don't really need them to get to start screen printing but they do come in handy. Especially when you gotta uh, pop off a design from a screen or uh, reclaim your screens, wash your screens, clean your screen. The spatula. You're probably thinking like this item is not important but, but it comes very very handy. Especially when you gotta stir your inks, put ink on your screens or remove ink from the screens. It's not an important item but it's a must have type of item because it makes everything a little bit more easier and less messier. And the eighth item that you need is called the squeegee. And what the squeegee does, it pushes the ink through the screen onto the shirt. Now there's many different types of squeegees. There's uh, wooden ones, metal ones, and plastic ones. The wooden ones are the most affordable ones. Those are the ones that I recommend to start with. And the metal ones are a little bit more easier to work with because whenever they do get dirty, they're so easy to clean up. Plus the way the handles are made, I feel like it's uh, more adjusted to your fingers. But they're like three to four times more expensive than the wood ones. And the most important item on the list is your screen printing press. Well, to me it's the most important. Because having a good press can help you provide better quality prints. And when your press has more stations, you could print shirts way, way, way faster. Okay, let's break it down before you go crazy and try to buy one of these expensive presses. If you're a beginner with zero experience, I recommend to get a single color press or the Amazon Blue Press. Now this press right here, it's very affordable. You could probably find it for under 200 bucks. And if you want to know more about this press, I did do a full YouTube video right here showing you the pros and cons about that press. I probably said press like a thousand times. Like press, press, press. Anyways, check it out. I highly recommend it. The reason why I recommend a low budget press is because you need to get your feet wet before you actually go into business. 
you need to know and understand the whole process of screen printing. Because honestly, I see a lot of people that go crazy and get some loans and buy all this expensive equipment, then to find out three months later that this business is not for them, they don't like it, and now they're stuck with debt. And no, I'm not against loans. I just don't recommend them in the beginning. I feel like the struggle in the start is what makes your foundation more stronger. Well, you'll see whenever you start upgrading and adding new stuff to your shop and just knowing that your business did that for you, the feeling is out of this world. It's so fulfilling. And the 10 item on the list is called the flash dryer. What the flash dryer do, it dries the ink on the shirt. So you can put another layer of ink on top of it for a more vibrant look or so the inks will mix and match whenever you are printing. And the last item on the list, it's the conveyor dryer. And the conveyor is a big oven. What it does, it cures the ink on your shirt. So whenever you do go wash it, it doesn't come off because the ink is uh, melted, welted into the shirt. It's a very important item in your business, especially when you are doing high quantity shirts because it speeds up the whole process. And of course, in the beginning, you probably can't afford a conveyor dryer because probably you don't have the money or the space. But there's other ways to cure a shirt. Now, I'm gonna suggest a video at the end of this video that's gonna show you four ways to cure a shirt from the least expensive to the most expensive. So the goal was to only show you one website, but this website doesn't have everything that you need. The first one is called Screen Print Direct. Now let's go to the equipment. And right away you can see the Screen Print Starter Kit. And right next to it, you can see one color press. And we scroll all the way. And the washout boot right here. Now right here you can see the screens. They sell them in packs and in single. And that's pretty much it right here. Now let's go to the support products. And once again, right away you can see the squeegee. The scrub pad. Scroll a little more down. And you can see the famous spatula. Keep scrolling, you see the scoop quarter and the spray bottle. And this website's a little bit more affordable than the one I'm gonna show you next. Now this website is called screenprinting.com and it has everything you need to start screen printing right away. From a small spatula to a full automatic machine. And look at all the stuff they offer. Now let's go check out some squeegees. Okay, so let's let it load a little bit. Now, if you can see, they have a bunch of different types and sizes of squeegees, from wooden ones to metal ones, and each one has a different price. You just keep scrolling and you'll see a bunch of different stuff, like this one, Easy Grip Lee Store Edition. Definitely got to give me one of those. Look at all these squeegees, different sizes, rollers, and a bunch of stuff. Now let's check out the manual shop package. And to be honest, I always wanted to get one of these packages, but I honestly couldn't afford one. But either way, I still came to this website to get motivated and to imagine me working with this type of equipment. Now, as you can see, prices are pretty, pretty high expensive. So now let me show you a Facebook group page where I got most of my stuff for like 10 times cheaper. And the name of this page is called You Screen Printing Equipment. And here you're going to see a bunch of different stuff from a manual press to a small inject printer. You're also going to see a bunch of shops that upgrade and buy new equipment and sell other stuff or they go full automatic and sell other manual stuff. And unfortunately, you're going to see a bunch of shops that go out of business. Yeah, I know it sucks. And I almost forgot to mention the thermometer. Thermometer is good because it helps you determine the temperature on your flash dryer, your conveyor dryer, and even your heat press. Especially when you want to know the, the actual temperature whenever you are curing shirts. And if this video helped out in any way, show us some love by giving us a like and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about anything, let us know in the comments. Once again, thanks, have a beautiful day, and God bless.